So I um, actually dreamed about the song. Um, so it was like in the dream, I was in like a cafe area and um, I heard this song come on the radio, but it wasn't me singing it. It was like, I don't know who the group was, but it was like another group singing. And this guy beside me, I started singing along to it too. And I was like, you know this song too. And he was like, yeah, I love this song. And so um, I started singing along to it. And then like right after that, I woke up and I'm like, is this a real song? Because I remembered it so well and so vividly. And so I literally started Googling the lyrics, could not find it anywhere. And I just was like, I have to record this right now. And so then we kind of just started um, really working out the, the details of all of it. We went into the studio and we were just like doing like a collaboration meeting where we're gonna show him actually another song. But I was like, hey, before I go, can I show you this other song we have an idea for. So we showed it to him and he was like, that song needs to be your single. He's like, you have to do this one first. I was very, not picky, but kind of picky in the sense of like, no, it needs to sound like this. And so we came up with certain ideas that we totally scratched. So maybe, what if you start, what if the intro is the bridge chords so that we've already established that motif? Cool. And then she wanted it to feel like poppy and upbeat and she even used the term one republic -y, so like kind of a very poppy and so just trying to make that sound happen is fun for me. Colson actually played piano, bass, acoustic, and electric. So he played four instruments and also sang. So he's like, I don't know how he does all that. So I more pride myself with trying to get the sound and the feel of the song, right? So, you know, using dark chords in some parts, happy chords in some, and then making it not generic and all that. I think my favorite part of the song is probably the second verse. Um, we're having an arrangement meeting with our producer, and um, we went through the first verse, second chorus, and when she got to the second verse, she actually forgot the rhythm and the arrangement and sang through it like double, double time, double speed. She was like, oh, I messed up, me and she was like, Whoa, do that again, do that again, that was super cool. Before we forget it, somebody hit record. <laughs> and so we did that and it just made that second verse feel so upbeat and so like, just kind of where the song just kind of locks in. Um, I think it's my favorite part. I think with Come Alive it would just be simply to enjoy life and not take yourself so seriously. Um, to experience God in every day and don't, don't, don't put too much pressure on yourself to be a perfect Christian, but just enjoy, enjoy the little things and just come alive in the day to day. You're the end.